okay. The display here is, is uh, an add-on to uh, the OEM dash. We're hoping it's going to be incorporated, but this uh, tells us the tracking distance between us and the car in front of us. Okay. It will also, uh, let me think here, it'll show you your set speed when you uh, initiate the cruise control. Okay. Uh, and it'll tell you what your, your set speed is, and uh, it'll also tell you not only the following distance, but the speed of the vehicle in front of you. Okay. Uh, it also acts as a visible warning. So when we're in the blue mode, it means it's not following anybody, or it's not tracking anything at that point. Okay. When the screen goes green, it means we're tracking another vehicle. Uh, when the screen goes red, that's an indication, that's the warning. Okay. Uh, it also has an audible in it, so you get, when you have a warning, uh, you get the audible alarm as well. So. What are we going to do in collision mitigation? What are we going to do here? Uh, we're gonna, doing collision mitigation, and uh, I'm going to run up on the car in front of me like we're going to run into the back of them. Okay. And that will do the, it'll initiate a few different things. Uh, first of all, the audible and visible alarm on the display. Okay. Uh, is your initial warning. Uh, beyond that, uh, it'll take the throttle away from me when we get too close. And also, uh, if we get to the, the last sort of ditch effort with collision mitigation, it will try to break the vehicle up to point with collision mitigation uh, uh, 0.35 Gs. Okay. Okay. And that's all automatic right there. So when did that? When did the brakes kick? kick did they kick in at the very last second. Yeah, it's a, it's a very last ditch effort. Uh, and the reason for that with collision mitigation is because uh, because you're not initiating the cruise control, uh, you could be in inner city traffic, and you could have a very major uh, nuisance mm -hmm. uh, when you do that. I can do another stop for you with that if you like. Yeah, so uh, is it better with an automatic then, uh, the collision mitigation and the cruise uh, control? Yeah, with uh, particularly with adaptive cruise control, if you have an automated transmission, uh, we can take the vehicle down to a complete stop uh, mm -hmm. if need be. Whereas with a uh, manual transmission, we'll keep breaking down to the engine set stall speed, okay. and then uh, we wouldn't want to further uh, cause any problems. Hopefully, at that point, the the driver is uh, re-engaged and taking control over the vehicle like they should be. So, you know. Basically, we'll give up at that point. It's got to cut out.